Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Silver Crown. And I am here with a product review. Uh, let me just say this is not a paid review. I'm not getting paid to talk to you about this product. So, um, my last video I told you that I would do a review and get back to you about the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration System. And so here's the shampoo. Oops. That's what that looks like. Here's a conditioner. Not my favorite. I'll tell you why. Um, it says it's for dry hair, but it actually made my hair feel dry when I got finished washing with it. And I, I was really surprised by that. And then the conditioner doesn't have any slip. It's... Um, it was hard. It was difficult to do my hair with this. So I'm going to use this up, but um, I probably won't buy this again. I and Unfortunately, because they were having a sale when I bought this, uh, I think I got it from Kmart. Uh, they were having a sale on the conditioner, so I bought two. What I could probably do is add a little oil to it to help it give it some slip. I don't know, but I won't buy this again because it doesn't seem to work well for my hair. And it was not cheap. I think this was, um, uh, I don't know, maybe $9, $11 or something. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But anyway, um, it says it's for dry hair. It doesn't work well with my hair. My hair is, um, I have low density and it's, it's fine hair. It's thick in the back. It's uh, low density in the front. It's low porosity in the front. It's high porosity in the back. It's just weird. So anyway, so that's that product review. Next, I want to talk to you about um, my wash day, which was today. Okay, so today was wash day. And um, what I decided to do was to wash my hair in this Canadian line that I bought uh, here with me from Canada. And this is the Live Clean line. It's this one is Live Clean Exotic Nectar Argan Oil Restorative Shampoo. Um, I don't know if you can even get this on Amazon. You probably have to go through Amazon.ca uh, instead of .com. And then I use this, their Live Clean Exotic Nectar Argan Oil Restorative Conditioner. So now, let me give you a review about these products. Um, I have other products in the Live Clean line. This was my first time using this shampoo, I think. I don't know. Anyway, um, it was okay. You know, it, it wasn't, uh, it didn't, it didn't give me a lot of slip. It didn't feel like it gave me a lot of slip at first, but uh, it did get my hair clean because I had a lot of buildup on my hair. Um, I'd been running around, and then, of course, here the weather's changing back and forth between cold and, or cool, very cool, and then very warm, and so I was having to moisturize my hair more than I would like to, and I don't really like to wash my hair more than once a week because um, it's dry anyway, right, so I don't want to dry it out, but, so I was having to moisturize it and put more oil on it and try to seal it and all that kind of stuff, and I decided to use this. Now, I started to use a sulfate-based shampoo, but I decided against that because I used it the last time I washed my hair. And I only like to use sulfate-based shampoos maybe once or twice a month. So um, I do feel clean. My head feels clean. My scalp feels clean. My hair feels clean. So I was happy about that. Uh, when I put in the conditioner, it was okay. Um... It was okay. <laughs> I guess I'll say that. It's okay. One thing I do want to say is between the shampoo and the conditioner, I used Shea Moisture's uh, Intensive Mask, uh, Hair Treatment Mask. I'm sorry I don't have the jar here with me because I just thought about that. But I did that. I put that on my hair, part of my hair in sections. I put that on and I went under a plastic cap and my heating cap for about 30 minutes and then I rinsed it out, went in the shower and rinsed it out in warm water. And then I put this on, this conditioner on, and I let it stay on. I was looking on here to see how long, 
I was supposed to let it stay on. These are all natural products, all plant-based. And uh, it really didn't say how long. I did remember that one of their other products said as long as you wanted to. If you wanted to use it as a leave-in, you could. So I guess it didn't matter. They didn't have a time limit on here. But I left it on for about 10 minutes. And then I washed it out in cool water. Uh, let me tell, talk to you a little bit about layering. I'll be back in a minute for that. Okay, let me talk to you about proper layering for my mixed texture, high porosity, low porosity, low density hair. <laughs> so uh, what I have found works best for my hair is uh, because I have chronic dryness, which I explained to you in my previous video. What I found works for me, uh, which causes me not to have to moisturize as often, is after I wash my hair, um, I don't blot my hair with a towel or a t-shirt. What I do is I put a towel around my neck. And when I put a towel around my neck, it just, whatever water is draining off naturally, I just let the towel catch it and wick that at the bottom. But I don't mess with the top of my hair or anything like that. The next thing I do is I will take a cream leave-in conditioner. I have found that the cream leave-in conditioners work better as far as um, layering a, a, a protective barrier over my hair to lock in moisture. And then after that, I will use an oil on top of that. I saw a trichologist explain about the difference in doing it that way, the LCO method and the LOC method. I, could, I had been trying the LOC method for a long time and I was just dealing with chronic dryness all the time. I'm not dealing with it as much, not nearly as much. But let me tell you, I had made a mixture of um, shea butter um, and all different types of natural oils. I just take a little bit of um, castor oil, maybe about a teaspoon or maybe a tablespoon of castor oil. And then I take this spoon and I scoop out a heaping teaspoon of my shea butter mixture that I made. If you want to see um, that video again, you let me know and I'll find it in my uh, library and put a link there. And I mix it up in this little dish and then I just take a little bit of it, put it in my hands, rub my hands together after I section my hair and I put it in my hair like that. I've also found that if I use smaller sections, then I have better coverage of my hair and it doesn't dry out as quickly. So that's what I do. I use the uh, liquid, which is the water after I wash it, um, the cream, which is a heavy leave-in conditioner, cream conditioner, and then I use um, a butter or um, almond oil or castor oil mixed with a butter. So that's what I do. So try that if, you haven't, if you're having problems with dryness, try doing it that way and see if that helps because I just washed my hair today and it's fine. When I was doing it the other way, it would dry out pretty quick. And then I want to show you just this quick hairstyle that I did. It's not the best, but I don't plan on going anywhere today anyway. So there you go. Anyway, what I did was I parted my hair in the middle here. And I took it down on both sides. So the front part is like a half moon. And then I did two flat twists right here. And I did a forward flat twist. I started here. And flat twisted it all the way around like that. And then I just parted down the back. This I think this is the first time I did this. So anyway, I just wanted to get it done with. Um, I parted it straight down the back. And let me turn around. Hopefully you can see. And I just put two French twists back here. Not French twists. <laughs> braids. Two French braids back here. And I connected the two flat twists on the side. See? Easy peasy. Easy, easy, easy peasy. So, I will probably keep my hair like this for um, two or three days before I take it out and moisturize it and either put it back like this or put it in a different style. But it's very easy. It's just four, two flat twists, two French braids, and that's the end of it. 
The other thing I want to suggest that you do is when you do do your hair, uh, try not to part it in the same place every time because you'll experience thinning in that area, especially if you already have low density hair, you do not need to thin your hair out. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and recommend it to your friends. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave your comments in the comment section below and I will see you next time. Thanks for coming by.